Of all the sample packs and drum kits I've tried, Machine Expansions by Native Instruments consistently have some of the best modern sounding, hard hitting drums ever. Most people think that you need the machine hardware to use them. Not true. You can use them with any keyboard you have or just program beats using your computer or any drum pads you have. Today I'll show you four ways to use machine expansions in your DAW without the machine hardware. If you want a super easy way to convert the expansions, I'll also share a program called Kitmaker with you. I've got a discount code for it as well. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I have lots of videos about music production and gear reviews on my channel. Consider subscribing. I always get straight to the point and provide helpful tips for your music making journey. Let's get into it. There are several ways to do this. I'll show you all the different methods. Here's the first scenario. You have the machine software, because many of you already have it, but you may not even realize it. You may have got it free when you bought a Native Instruments keyboard or an audio interface. Make sure you install it. So you have the machine software, but you would rather use your Ableton drum rack instead. This method makes it easier to program beats and compose a whole song around it, particularly if you're more familiar with Ableton. The way you do this is to first load an empty Ableton drum rack, then load the machine plugin onto it. Then in the machine, go to group and then the knob section and set input key mode to manual. Next, click the chain button on the drum rack and then the IO button and then set receive to all notes. Now play. Done. You're welcome. You can now switch kits and you can program your beats just like you do with any Ableton drum kit. Now, every now and then I come across a pad that doesn't play. Well, it plays, but it doesn't record. It's kind of weird. To solve this, go to that pad in machine and then switch it to a sample. Then you can turn it back to audio. And this actually fixes any audio samples that were not working properly. But don't forget to save this as a new drum rack in Ableton and you can load it anytime you want to use it. Another benefit of this method is that you can use the step sequencer on Ableton Push 2 with the machine expansions as well. The drawback to this method is that you don't see the labels on the drum pads, but that's a small issue and you can fix it by manually entering them. By the way, if you are interested in buying the machine hardware or a Native Instruments keyboard, now is the time to do it. They're having a sale on bundles. If you buy a combo of the hardware plus some version of their software, check out the link in the video description. The next way is using a sampler. You don't need the machine software or battery for this method, and you can do this in any DAW. Ableton has the nice drum rack instrument, which you can use to load kits. I'll show you that, but if you use another DAW, you can load these samples into your sampler instrument, such as the sampler in Logic or your FL Studio drum machine. So this is the lowest cost, in fact, free method, but requires you to do a little manual work. Here's how to do it. Navigate to where your machine expansions are saved. Then find the kit you want to convert and then make sure you stay in that sample folder and search for that kit's name. You'll get all the samples together. Now just drag that onto your sampler or your drum kit, rearrange it if you want and save, done. Now the next way to use Native Instruments expansions without having the machine hardware is to use the battery plugin by Native Instruments. This method is compatible with any DAW. Now this is the easiest and cleanest way to use Native Instruments expansions, but it'll cost you because you have to buy battery if you don't already own it. But if you wanna buy it, think of it this way. You don't need to buy the machine hardware and with battery, you get 143 kits when you buy it. The way you do it is just load up battery, and then I usually search for the expansion that I want. I have the DJ Khalil expansion, so I just type in Khalil, and now I have all the DJ Khalil kits right here in battery. Check it out. You can also load the battery instrument into the Ableton drum rack and then sequence it with push two. 
It's pretty much the same as I showed you in the first method. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Last, there's a program that converts your Native Instruments expansion drum kits to Ableton drum kits. The program is called Kitmaker and costs $30. You can also convert to MPC, MPC Live, and MPC One kits. To use Kitmaker, just open it and then find your expansion libraries wherever they're saved. Then select your output format. Then click Make Kits. And Kitmaker will save those kits in your user library as Ableton drum racks. It names them and sorts the samples in the drum rack so you don't have to. Kick, snare, everything is in the right place. This is a very clean way to do it, but requires a little work up front. Thanks for watching. Keep making the music you love. And hey, watch one of these videos next.